I'm JD with Walk Away California Group and Puerto Rico and Walk Away Espanol. Are there Hispanics for Trump? Yes, of course, Latinos for Trump, personally Mexicans for Trump. <laughs> now, if you watch the news on television, they'd make you seem like all, all the Hispanics and Latinos, Latinas, are interested in having more come across the southern border. Is that the case? Well, you know, I'm, I'm an immigrant myself. I became naturalized in 2008, and, but we did it the legal way. You know, everybody right now is coming illegally. And more than that, you know, the trafficking, the, tra the human trafficking, the drug trafficking, that's not, that's not safe for us and for the country. Why is it bad for our country? Well, people are dying from uh, the fentanyl crisis and overdoses, you know, infiltrating through the border. And, you know, we're uh, the uh, gangsters from Venezuela and the people, the cartels, that's not safe at all. What about the, uh, the uh, well, I'll call them illegals, uh, undocumented, who, who came across and are suddenly getting registered to vote when they apply for uh, driver's licenses? Won't they dilute the votes of citizens? Well, we're afraid that, you know, they're going to cheat their way through getting uh, illegal votes and, and, you know, put another illegitimate administration and president there. But, you know, that's why we want Trump. And we're going to be, I'm with the Trump force also, and we're volunteering to get, protect the vote, protectthevote.com, exactly to be a poll observer on the site and our poll workers also. So we invite everyone to, to join the force. Now, what's this walk away movement about? So walk away was founded by Brandon Strong. He's this guy who was an ultra Democrat. He started crying when Hillary Clinton lost the, uh, lost the election. And he was genuinely concerned and, and, and curious as to why people were voting for Trump. So someone reached out to him because he bought into the lie that, he, that Trump had made fun of this disabled reporter. And that was a lie. So she showed them the full clip and she's like, well, why did the media post this? And why they're, what else have they been lying to me about? So he walked away from the mainstream media and he walked away from the Democratic Party because he started doing his research. The more research he did, he was like, okay, Trump is in, in alignment with American first. So uh, he did a, very, a video and recently last week, actually he relaunched the sequel and, and then he's doing a contest too. Uh, to, uh, to win up to uh, $10,000 for people that put their testimonials because every day people are walking away from the Democratic Party. Uh -huh. So what about people who don't want to support Kamala but they don't have any social support among their friends? Is, is, th is there a welcoming in this walk away movement for them? Yes. As a matter of fact, you could be a walk away or a walk with with a walk away. So I'm a personally a walk with and so that means that I walk along with other walkaways that have it's, it's it's a it's a family everyone's welcome independent democrat if you're still a democrat you know a lot of the kennedy democrats are coming over and so everyone's welcome you know it's just freedom to think and, and decide for yourself and you do your research but uh everyone's welcome now, what if someone wants to vote for uh let's say uh uh, not let's say not uh, uh, they don't want to vote for President Trump for for president, but they do want to uh, defeat other Democrats who happen to be in positions they don't like their policies, like Alvin Bragg or George Gascon or Adam Schiff, like this. Uh, is there still room for them to uh, to to break away from the identification as a Democrat? How, how do you, how do you help people? I think the most important thing is to get involved locally. And that's why I'm volunteering to, to walk my neighborhood and, uh, with my precinct and have one-on-ones to people because they, not in, the media is not informing them accurately, but they, the major impact, the most impact is locally. A lot of people don't know what judges to vote for, and, and, and it's really at a local level where you can make the, the biggest difference. Is it too late for people to register for for uh, precinct to, to be poll watchers and things like no, this? not at all. Again, uh, protectthevote.com, there's a, you could become a poll observer, a poll walker. Uh, you can uh, contact me at Facebook, uh, JD, uh, 
and uh, I'll give you all the information, all the links, because it's not too late. They're, they're hiring now, but they're going to start doing the counting and the mailing ballots, like, I think 10 days before the election day. So we're going to need all the help that we, that we have, that we can. Where, where, can, people, where can people find this on the, uh, on the web and social media? ProtectTheVote.com uh, and also through TrumpForce47.com. Uh, Trump for Trump 47 uh, dot com oh, Trump 47 the number 47 yes Trump Not the word the 47 Trump force 47 dot com yes How about on social media Instagram um, yes follow uh, Donald Trump or text 94646 and they'll send you a link to sign up to a, a poll observer or poll watcher and how about to get involved uh, or, or, or at least get information from the Walk Away movement. Where would they find that? Well, we have a new uncensored platform. It's called walkawaysocial.com. And if you still want to be part of the Facebook group, uh, it's, it's walkawaycampaign.com uh, slash next, and they'll take you to all the steps to follow us online. How about every channel on YouTube, Twitter. Brandon's on uh, everywhere. Yeah, face, Brandon's on Facebook, Twitter, X, yeah. X, Twitter, at, at Walk Away? walkawaycampaign.com yes walkawaycampaign.com